Okay, I'm in the sun. <laughs> it's Thursday. It's been a week. I'm gonna set that right here. Um, I'm gonna start off this with an apology. Um, if you have ever felt in, in your church attendance or in participating at church, an expectation, a, a set of traits, um, this ideal image of what it meant to be a follower of Christ, and that the entire effort of the church was to push you into this one place, this one image, this one understanding of what it meant to follow Jesus, and it looks just like this. Um, I sincerely want to express from the bottom of my heart, um, I am so sorry. Um, these are a stack of just a few of what we call discipleship kits. Um, every church has them, and what they are are a strategic um, assembly line project and plan to produce this ideal image of what it meant to be a follower of Christ. And, and the basic idea behind it was to move you down this assembly line and say, if you do these 12 steps, if you do these five things, if you make these seven things practices that you do each day, week, month, then out will pop at the other end this idealized, I'm going to use a big word, homogenized, cookie cutter idea of what it means to be a Christian. So this is what's probably happened if you've been through something like this, and, and we all have to one step or another, is you didn't feel hopeful about moving toward this personal growth. You felt all the different ways that you weren't enough. Well, I don't pray enough. I don't enjoy reading scripture enough. I can't fight this habit. There's this thing in my life that won't seem to go away, and I'm being told that I have to get rid of it because it's a bad thing. And it's, women will understand this. It's the size, whatever, the five, seven, nine, six, eight, ten dress that was fitted for one particular person who have, has all of these shapes. And then when you buy it, it's really ill-fitting, isn't it? <laughs> and you go like, who is this person that they're modeling this one size after? Guys don't deal with that as much. But that's what Christianity looked like. It was like, hey, here's this one model, this one example of what you're supposed to look like, and here's all the things that you have to do in order to be like that. And that's not the way it was ever designed to be. It's not the way Jesus set it up. It's not the way he related to his disciples. It's not what was taught. But because we want to mass produce Christians rather than build relationships, we put you through that um, all the time. And again, we apologize. The reason why I talk about this is we hit our third season in our season series, but really fascinating. I hope you go back and, and look at what happens in winter, the stillness and, and the silence. Um, what happens in spring with this renewal and this resurgence and a, a resurrection of newness when you didn't feel like there was any. We're going to talk about summer. That's the reason why I'm sitting in the sun is summer is really the most intense and probably the most difficult of all of the seasons because the amount of effort and labor that goes into summer. Um, we're sliding into it, and it, you know, next week it's supposed to be in the 90s. Um, but we're gonna talk about a different approach to what it means to be a Christian, that there's not this perfect size, there's not this perfect form for you, but there is an understanding of uniqueness and beauty of diversity that we're all going to grow into our fullness differently than just mass producing what you're supposed to look like. So summer will be a little bit different this Sunday. We're not going to do some of the things that we've done for winter and spring, um, but we're gonna cut you some slack.
and we're going to give you a break and we're going to present a different understanding and idea of what it means to um, to grow spiritually we're excited there's a lot going on um, Christina joined us for staff meeting yesterday it's a long one but man, I'm telling you things are happening at New Community Church and we want you to be a part of it and we'll we'll keep you informed as we as we go on and we'll be announcing another new hire in the next couple weeks um, we have um, the women's hat event coming up June 4th you can sign up in the lobby or call the church office sign up online I looked at the clipboard there are lots of people signing up for that it's gonna be really exciting in fact the women's Bible study is meeting right now um, also the Burwell the the gifts for the teachers at Burwell just a, a little background Burwell is a local school that no one had adopted and we recognized that they were kind of out there on their own so we took on Burwell and we are just loving on the teachers and telling them that even though they're working off in the shadows we appreciate you um, that's it um, there's a lot going on check out all of our social media we're updating things we're working on the website right now download the app everything you need to know is on the app and we're consolidating everything to the app and we want to say this also we've been saying it a little bit more lately because we are moving into a summer season um, it, as far as financially investing in the life of new community church if you've been doing it for years thank you that means so much to us we're able to do what we do um, because of you <clears throat> if you haven't been no pressure we don't have an expectation of how that's supposed to be that is a relationship between you and God and what it looks like to give but if you are able or if you appreciate what new community church is doing or if you can just kind of like increase your giving um, it will allow us to move into new and different areas of, as we kind of expand what new community church will be doing. So, that's a lot. Again, we apologize. Um, we're going to do better as the Big C Church in general. So, stay cool. Um, have a great weekend. We'll see you Sunday, virtually or in person. So, take care.